Hello and welcome to another episode of Digimon Survive. We're in a boiler room and we are going after Piedmon. Not really too sure how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a shot here. Uh, okay. Uh, what is this place? It looks really dangerous. Is this an altar? Takuma! Over there! Oh, Miyuki. She's just sitting there. <laughs> Miyuki is tied to the altar. The special sacrificial ceremony is underway. You will not interfere. I don't know how he thinks he's going to succeed. We literally defeated all of his minions. Yikes! Piedmon? He's like a creepy clown. You can tell how powerful he is just by looking at him, though. Piedmon is strong! Sacrificial ceremony? We can't let that happen. Give her back! Your voice lacks conviction. I can tell how much you fear me. Ugh. His powers are immense! But we can't just flee! I don't know what the ceremony is supposed to be for, but you can't sacrifice one of us. The weakest dogs always howl the loudest. You are pitiful. But weaklings have their uses. We shall sacrifice you to the master as well. They're going to kill us too? Not just Miyuki? <laughs> of course. Why is a sacrifice needed? What's it for? To cleanse the impurities that spread across this land. The master wishes it. <laughs> oh no! You ignorant weaklings, curse you! Curse your idiocy as you are consumed! Hmm. Alright, we're back. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't recording the battle. Um, I thought I had it recording, but I did not. And um, was able, I was able to defeat Piedmon, but it was pretty difficult. Uh, not gonna lie, he the, the difficulty just made it so I had like a 30% chance to hit him. And... Um, yeah, it was just us going back and forth. I made his SP run out. And, uh, yeah, I finally got him after, like, 30 minutes of just back and forth. And nothing really happened. Um, you just defeat him, and then that's kind of it? Did we do it? Did we beat Piedmon? We did it, Mew. We won. We won. That's amazing. You're incredible, Sayakamon. You would have me kneel before you. Garurumon, traitor! You want this world to end in darkness, too? Me? A traitor? <laughs> I never really believed in the master the way you did. Also, that reminds me. Um, Garurumon uh, actually digivolved to were Garurumon. Were Garurumon? Um, when I attacked Piedmon, the professor came out and wanted to protect... His sister and Gurumon came out to help and Digivolve. I've been wondering, what exactly is this master? Right? And why would he need a sacrifice? And why do they call Miyuki a maiden? <laughs> you expect me to just answer your questions? Rotten loser. You lost. We could still beat the crap out of you. I lost? <laughs> me? I lost? You still understand nothing, ignorant fools. What does he mean by that? Yo, oh, Mew, get behind me! What is it? The world suddenly shook. What the heck? What is this? There is change. I don't like this. Is it getting foggy? It is. No, Mewki. The mist is suddenly everywhere. It's much faster than before. Everybody run! Hang on, Minoru. Mewki's still on the altar. Now to begin the ritual. Oh, great and mighty master, accept that which we offer thee. The sacrifice upon this altar, this child. No, Takuma. Ryu and Shuji were enveloped by the mist and disappeared. If I just stand here gaping, we might lose Miyuki too. I don't want to lose anyone else. No one. Let's go, Takuma. We need to rescue Miyuki. Yeah. Hang on, Takuma. Are you going to dive into that mist? Forget Miyuki. You'll die too. But I can't just let her die. So you'll sacrifice yourself? No way! Right! 
Miyuki is my problem. We can't lose to Kuma too. I know, I might not make it back. But it's better than letting the mist take Miyuki. She can't even move. It's fine. I'll bring Miyuki back with me. Idiot, you're going to your death. Stop. Takuma, no. I'm sorry, everyone, but I'll be right back. <laughs> wow, we were actually doing that. Let's go. <laughs> Takuma. I don't even know what to expect. Okay, nobody's here. What perspective are we at? Oh, he's gone. This can't be happening, right? Takuma, Takuma. I couldn't stop him. I, I couldn't. Oh, Garumon's leaving. Garumon, hang on. Where are you going? Make no mistake. I haven't forgiven you yet. I did help you, but that had more to do with my disgust for the clown boy over there. Then... I don't know what's next. Maybe my jaws will find your throat if we meet again. <sighs> my heart is still confused. I can't be anywhere near you yet. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. I already did. Rurumont. I can't believe that they would just go like this. I refuse to believe it. Okay, okay, what are we looking at? It looks like a bunch of neurons. What? Boy, this place looks crazy. Where am I? It's too dark to see anything. How am I able to stand now? Which way's up? Which way's down? Uh -huh. Who's there? I, I want, want not enough. What is this? It's like... It's bubbling up from beneath the ground, that awful voice. I want, want, want something dark and big is headed this way. Power, knowledge, existence, soul, heart. Bring them all to me. No! What? Don't stay there, come here. What is that strange warm light? And I know I've heard that voice before. Let's see, where's the light coming from? Okay. Wait, am I Takuma? Okay, we're we're back at the school. Agumon, I'm so glad you're okay. Me too. Okay, Miyuki's talking. Are you awake, Takuma? Miyuki? <laughs> you can understand me. I'm so glad you weren't taken by the darkness. Yes, and I'm happy you're safe too. And Miyuki can talk now too. Yes, I'm sorry I was quiet all the time. But it took all I had. I wanted to respond to everyone, but I couldn't. The master of this world took half of my soul. That's why. The master of the world? Your soul? That mist that enveloped you in me. That is one of the master's powers. I was taken by the mist so long ago. I can't tell you how much time has passed. For the longest time, he consumed my heart and will always... And will always feeding off half of my soul. Okay. But thankfully, half of my soul remained mine alone. The master couldn't take it. That was the me that all of you met in the Kimonogami world. If Haru hadn't protected me, the master would have taken that part too. I see. That's why Haru was always by her side. Mm, that's Renamon. And it's not just me. You were in danger just now, Takuma. Do you mean that if I hadn't come to the light, away from the darkness? You would have been captured, just as I was. No, I think you would have gone even deeper. All of your soul, life, and existence, gone. Oh, it really was a close call then. Thank you, Miyuki. You saved me. What do you mean? When I dove into the mist, my only idea was to keep you from disappearing. But now that I think about it, I had no real way of knowing what would happen to me. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk like this too. Oh. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Until now, I was useless to everyone. Even so, you risked your own life to help me. 
And so, I have to thank you. It's because of you that... What? Oh no, the master knows where we are. We have to do something. The heck? Countless stars that shine so bright. Are you singing now? Sparkling with ancient heart and light. Jeez! Whoa! Are we being attacked? Stop singing, Miyuki! We need to hide! Hang on, though. I've heard that song before. It's the same song that the professor was humming. Is this the song of the Minase Maiden? May this world where friends are found with ghostly voices now resound. It's the same dark space as before. Is the light getting bigger, though? Miyuki, wait! I need to ask you so many things! Oh, the light! Oh! What is going on? It's like a little pocket dimension or something? The song, the worlds are bound together once more. Uh, the maiden must not go. Her power, I must reclaim it. Power, knowledge, existence, soul, heart. All shall be my flesh and blood. She must not go. What the? It's like it's like a little brain thing. Hmm, music's kind of nice. What? Takuma's mom? You're sure you've got everything, Takuma? Yeah, mom, I'm all set. Oh, what about the camp guide? Did you remember to bring an extra handkerchief? And it gets cold so quickly in the mountains. You'll need both a jacket and a coat. I've got all I need, mom. I went through it all last night and checked again just now. Well, it never hurts to double check. Remember that time you were in second grade? You came home from the field trip in tears because you forgot to pack your lunch. Mom, that was years ago. When she starts with that story, she doesn't stop. I'll be late if I don't cut her off. Oh, and I don't want you staying up too late when you get there. And try not to stare at, at your phone too much on the bus. You'll get car sick. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and one more thing. What now? I sewed a little good luck charm into your pants. Mom, that's so weird. Why would you do that? If you ever get in trouble and you don't know what to do, I want you to look at it, okay? She's so superstitious. Mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, Takuma, don't you know you'll always be my little boy? Man, I don't even know what to say to that. Whatever, Mom. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. I wish she wouldn't treat me like I was still five years old all the time. What's she so worried about anyway? I'm just going on a camping trip. I mean, sure, I'll always be her kid. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to grow up. It doesn't mean I'll never be an adult. See you when I get back. Takuma, wait, you forgot this. I missed something? Well, I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. Can't be that important. Sorry, Mom, I don't want to be late. Takuma, stop! Come back! Takuma! What's gotten into her? You think this was a matter of life and death or something? Kinda is. Takuma! Takuma! Oh, that's odd. It's like her voice is getting farther and farther away. You're running away from her. What do you mean? Takuma! Takuma! Is that really m my mom calling for me? Oh. It's like... Now he's actually hearing something different. Oh, Takuma, tuk oh, what, Taku. It's okay, mom, I got everything. No need to panic. Takuma, wake up. Oh, what, that's not my mom's voice. Sounds familiar though, and why does it feel like I'm shaking? Oh, Takuma. Uh. With the death lilies. Takuma, come on. Whoa. Oh, Takuma! You're awake! Hooray! Aguman? So all that stuff with my mom, I guess that was a dream. A dream? Takuma, are you alright? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I got a little mixed up there. But, uh... This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's the same thing. There's sure a lot of red spider lilies in this forest. Where are we? Beats me! All I know is we were here when I woke up, and you were lying on the ground. But why are we in this forest? And what was I doing before? Did you forget, Takuma? Uh, sorry, my memory's real fuzzy. You mean you forgot what happened right before we came here? Right before we came here. That's weird. Everything's all mixed up in my head. I can't remember. What's the last thing you remember? Uh, let's see. We went to the abandoned factory to try and rescue Miyuki, right? Right. And then, oh yeah, we fought Piedmon and we won. We sure did. But then, 
Miyuki got swallowed up, swallowed up by the fog. So we went after her. And we wound up in some kind of music room where we found Miyuki. You got it, Takuma. Turns out you did remember everything. I'm so glad. Yeah, apparently I did. It's all coming back now. I remember talking with Miyuki and she was speaking normally. I feel like she did something and then we were all covered in this white light. No, that's not it. No, that's it, I guess. I still can't quite remember a thing. Maybe if I could ask Miyuki, she would know. Hey, that's right. Where's Miyuki? What happened to her? Don't ask me. When I woke up, everyone else was gone. It's just you and me. Well, we can worry about what happened later. First, we need to find Miyuki. Okay. Where could Miyuki have gone? I don't think she'd be too far. Did we try looking farther out? No, let's not go ahead of ourselves. Get ahead of ourselves. The trees are thicker that way and you never know what might be hiding in the shadows. Plus, something about this place seems off. What do you mean? I can't quite put my finger on it, but this forest, something about it is different. It's not quite the same as I'm used to. Oh yeah, I've noticed something like that too. So it's not just me. What is it that's bothering you, Agumon? Well, oh. Huh, that sounded like... I heard it too, Takuma. It came from over that way. Takuma, look! Over there, it's Miyuki! Miyuki? Oh. <laughs> Where am I? Miyuki, do you remember me? Uh, Takuma? I'm so glad we found you. Are you alright? You're not hurt or anything, are you? I don't think so, but what are we doing here? Honestly, right now I'm just glad it sounds like you really are okay. What? Oh, I was afraid that maybe you'd lost the ability to speak again. You mean you were worried about me? Why wouldn't we be? After all, you're one of our closest friends. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that, and I've been meaning to tell you something. Thank you so much for being so nice to me and my brother this whole time. There, finally got to say thank you. Was that clear enough? Yeah, of course, but I mean, it's not like you have to thank us for anything. I haven't been doing anything special. I just treated you how I felt like treating you. Yeah, me too. Well, I felt like thanking you just now too, so I did. <laughs> we make a good pair, don't we? I guess we do, ha ha ha. No, I've never had a chance to talk with you like this before, Miyuki. Really? Wasn't she talking like this in that other place before we came here? Well, we didn't exactly have a lot of time there. We never had the chance to chit-chat. Oh, this does feel like a fresh start, I guess. I should say, nice to meet you, Takuma. Right, nice to meet you too, Miyuki. Same to you, Agumon. You too, Miyuki! So, Takuma, Agumon, where are we exactly? Well, yeah, we shouldn't just be standing around chatting like this. Sorry, but I have a hard time remembering things from when I was out of it. No need to apologize. And to be honest, we're still not entirely sure where this is either. But we do know there is something off about this forest. It's not normal. Oh yeah, we were talking about that earlier. What was it that struck you as different about this place, Agumon? I can't sense anything in this forest like me or the others. Or oh, forest like me. You mean nothing like you at all? Right. I can't even sense Falcomon or Drachmon or anyone else. So what does that mean? I don't know why either. If I can't sense Falcomon or anyone else, there's definitely something weird going on. Maybe yeah, that means we're really far away from the others. Well, from what I saw, it doesn't seem like we're anywhere near the factory. We're probably still somewhere on that weird island, but it's strange. I don't remember any flowers in that forest we had to go through to get to the factory. Wait, that's it, the red spider lilies. That's what's so weird about this place. And in this world, red spider lilies only grow in one specific area. Does that mean we somehow wound up back at the, by the school? I don't know. It seems a little strange. <laughs> Just goes by her. No, that can't be it. The surroundings don't quite match up. If anything, this is like... No, it can't be, can it? I mean, there's no way, right? Things don't just work out like that. I need to calm down and think this through again. Carefully examine all that I know, one thing at a time, like the professor would. There's something wrong, Takuma. Did you figure something out? No, no, I can't be sure of anything yet. If you say so. So what do we do now, Takuma? Uh, right, I've been worrying about that too. I don't see much point in staying here. But then again, if we just head out blindly... 
I don't sense any... Oh. I don't sense any ne enemies nearby. But you think I should go see what's up ahead? But that would mean splitting up. Don't you think that could be dangerous? Hmm, I guess it could be. What do you think, Takuma? Under the circumstances, our options are limited. We could stay here and hope the others find us, or the three of us could go take a look around. Then again, we could have Agumon do the looking while Miyuki and I stay here. Dude. Stay put. Let Agumon scout look around together. Stay put. Even if Agumon isn't sensing any danger, you never know what could be out there. Why don't we just stay here and wait for the others to find us? After all, there's no sign of that bog anywhere, so we should be safe. Okay, I guess, if that's what you want to do, Takuma. Agumon doesn't seem to like that idea. Um, I'm sorry, but... Hmm, I think waiting around will just make me more nervous. I mean, what if we're somewhere really far away from everyone else? Besides, I've relied on the others for so long. I'll have to go find them this time. You know, I hadn't thought about that, but Miyuki did just regain control of herself. Of course, she isn't going to want to wait around like nothing's changed. Actually, I'm sorry, I think I made the wrong call. Really? You mean you changed your mind? Let's all look around for some clues that could lead us back to the others. No, that's more like it. Good call, Takuma. So now that's settled, which way should we go? Hey, Takuma, look over there. Huh? It's all lit up. It sure is. Funny it was dark until just now. The light's shining in just that one spot like it's showing us the way to go. She's right. It's almost like we're being guided down the right path. No, this could still all be a coincidence. Either way, though, we need to get moving. All right, let's head toward the light. Man, there's so much talking. What's going on? Oh, more spider lilies. Great. We followed the light path this far, but it's not some sort of trap, is it? Don't know. And is it just me or does this place look familiar? Hmm. What's on your mind, Takuma? You've been pretty thoughtful for a while now. I don't know. It's just I feel like I've been here before. But it could just be my imagination. You see all these red spider lilies? Remember how they grew in the forest near that school? That might be why this place seems familiar. Really, I don't think I've ever seen this place before. I mean, it's kind of like that forest, but it's not the same. Huh? What's this strange sensation? If he's right, is this really where I think it might be? Hey, the place you're thinking of with the red spider lilies is somewhere else? There's only one other place it could be. But it's, but it's from before I met Agumon, even before I found myself in that other world. That could that would mean could it be? Uh Takuma? Yeah, even Agumon was like, spit it out! We got places to be! Do you really know where we are? I think maybe this is No, it has to be. It must be. Takuma, what's gone into you? Why don't you just spit it out? Why don't you just say it's the real world? Takuma, wait! Both of you follow me. If this is where I think it is, it shouldn't be much farther. Suddenly, I find myself running. It's almost like my body is acting all by itself. I have to know. I have to be sure. And that need drives me forward. <laughs> gotta be there. It's just gotta be. Oh, the tunnel. Yep. I knew it. I was right. This is the same tunnel. We came through here to get to the shrine. And then we wake, woke up in that other, in another world. <laughs> Takuma! You mean, is it really true? It has to be. What's going on? What's true? What are you two talking about? I don't get it at all. What, are we, what we're saying is this might not be your world, Agumon. Huh? But if this isn't my world, then what does that mean? Where are we? Uh, come on. We need to get through this tunnel. That'll clear things up for sure. Good, good. Speed it up. Speed it up. We got places to be. Hey, wait! Takuma, hold on! No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. Let's speed it up. Is this really? I've definitely never been here before. Ha, ha, ha! Yes, I remember this. This is the road that led to the shrine. That strange mist is gone. I thought it was too good to be true, but it wasn't. This is it. We're back. We made it back from the uh, that other world. Wait. What? You mean this is the world where you and your friends all came from, Takuma? That's right. This is it. Wow. So this is your world. That's great, Takuma. Yeah. Thanks, Agumon. Well, 
I sure wasn't expecting that. You know, this place is kind of weird, but... I'm glad I got to go back with you to your world, Takuma. I'm glad you're here too. I'm so happy it worked. Huh? Wait, what do you mean it worked? You don't remember what happened in the music room? The music room? Wait, now that I think I'm back on it... Yes, I remember. You were singing a song, and then all this white light started to surround us. You mean you did that, Miyuki? With the other half of my soul returned, it looks like I managed to save you, Tak Takuma. So the reason we're here right now is because of something you did? I wasn't sure if it would work, really work or not myself. Looks like it did though. I'm so glad. Wait, what? This is this whole conversation is so unexpected. I'm having a hard time keeping up. If Miyuki brought us back to this world, that means she must know something, right? And what she mean? What she mean about her half her soul? She mentioned that in the music room too. Come to the. the Bleh, man, come to think of it, what was she even doing in that world in the first place? And more importantly, does she know what happened to the others? What about the others? So if we made it back because of you, can you tell me what happened to the others? I don't know. I've never tried to find out how much power was in my song before. Your song? You mean that one you were singing in the music room? What else could he be? What, what else could she be talking about, Takuma? Does it have something to do with us coming to this world? That song has been passed down in my family family for generations. It has the power to link that world with this one. In other words, that real reason... In other words... Man, I can't talk. In other words, the real reason we're here right now is because of the power of that song? Well, I guess the big takeaway is still that Miyuki is the reason we made it back. Now, we'll have to think about what our next move is going to be. Hey, Takuma, there's something over there. What? It's not Piedmon and it's cronies, is it? Was I wrong about us being back home? Are we still in that other world? No, it doesn't feel like one of us. I think it's other humans like you. Oh, phew, I started to panic for a second there. But if you're sensing humans, do you think maybe it's the others? It does seem possible that it could be Minoru Aoi or anyone else. What do you think? Hmm, I can't really tell. Just go look, Takuma! So it might be the others, or it might not. Am I really back in my world, or am I still in that other one? That should settle things once and for all. Aguma, Miyuki, let's keep going just a bit farther. Oh, lots of talking. Oh, okay, it's the, <laughs> the people again. Takuma, look. Oh, it really is a human I've never seen before. It sure is. Now there's no doubt about it. We're definitely back in our world. That's true, but, uh... Uh, Miyuki, is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. Just something's bothering me, that's all. I don't know. She looks pretty upset. What could be bothering her that much? Miyuki, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Oh, is it Agumon she's worried about? Is she afraid of what might happen if he's seen? <laughs> or maybe she's anxious about whether Minoru and the others made it here okay. And again, she could be concerned about Haru. Oh my god. Let's do Haru. I'm sure you must be worried about your brother now that you've been separated. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm concerned about him too. Huh? Was Haru not what? Was Haru not what was bothering her? So when is it? So when is it right now? Hmm. Oh, you know, I've been out, out of it for a while, and I've lost all track of time. It's kind of been bothering me. I'm pretty sure it's been about a week since we first arrived in that other world. Meaning we've been missing for several days now. I'm sure that's caused a big stir. This could be bad, especially since Minoru and the others still aren't back yet. I'll never be able to explain what happened with the others still in that other world. What am I gonna do? Um, Takuma, we might have a problem. What now? Those people over there, they keep looking in Agumon's direction. Alright, Agumon, you need to hide quick! Huh, but why, Takuma? Remember how we talked about there not being anything like you in this world? If they find you, things can get real bad. What do I really do have to hide? Just for a little while. Stay out of sight while Miyuki and I go talk to them, okay? Oh, all right, if you say so. But it better not be for long. Or else? Ooh, I think we actually managed to take care of that before anybody noticed. Yeah, I think so too. But you said you wanted to go talk with those people, right? What do you want to find out? First of all, I want to know what people in this world think of our disappearance. We've been missing for days and that should have caused some sort of commotion. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what they have to say about it. So much talking. Maybe I should pump the locals for some info. Maybe I should pump them. Ah. Can I look at my Digimon? Oh, I can. 
Everything still seems the same. Can look at the camera. Okay, nothing there. Oh, accidentally did the skip thing. All right, we're talking to these people. Man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Have there been any reports of strange things going on around here? I mean, it seems like something's going on. Oh, it's been going on, all right. Looks like there's been quite a fuss over us, after all. What if the police ask us what happened? What will we say? Yeah, see, a few students who came here to go camping went missing. Everyone's saying they might got caught in the landslide. The police just left to meet with their teacher a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago? Huh, what is he talking about? How many days have passed since the landslide when we went to the other world? What does all this mean, Takuma? I have no clue, honestly. But I guess time passes at different rates here in this world than in the other one? This world? The other one? What the heck are you going on about? Uh, nothing. Just ignore that. Anyway, how's this shrine where the landslide happened? Is it holding up? Well, aren't you inquisitive? But I don't think they've finished investigating yet. The shrine was in ruins already, so they've been telling people not to go near it. <laughs> the shrine in ruins? What? What's with Miyuki all of a sudden? Oh, it's been decades since anyone looked after that old place. Apparently, it used to be quite nice. You never guess from the way it is now, though. The decades? What is it, Miki? Anyway, it's not safe to go there, so I'd stay away if I were you. Woman. Hey, I haven't seen y'all before. Don't tell me you're the missing students. Uh, are we... Uh, crap, now that what, what, what am I supposed to say? It's not safe to lollygag around here, so get back to your school already. Everyone's probably worried sick. Back to school? What do you mean? Things were shaking so hard it started a landslide. Students went missing. So all students who were still safe got called back to school, apparently. I've, I'd go, too, if I were you. Alright. Old lady. My goodness, are you children lost? Oh no, we just stopped to rest here for a while. Is that so? Well, that's alright then, but many children do get lost around here. Those woods have so many confusing little game trails, and yet they come, away, they come anyway. There's some sort of camp or something they have around this time of year. Ah, yes, of course. Those of us who live nearby always get worried when children are around. Only natural after all those disappearances. That would have been 50 years ago now. Disappearances? Oh, that was such an outcry. Who could forget? And the children were never found? Never. It was a mass disappearance. Even the famous Manasse family lost a daughter. No, you don't mean. She was about the same age as that girl over there. Oh, she looks just like Akiharu Manasse's sister, actually. Oh, crap! You were worried about Agumon being recognized? Miyuki looks like a girl who disappeared 50 years ago. And didn't that lady say Manase? That's Miyuki's last name, too. What the heck is going on? Is it just by chance, or could it be? Excuse me, but, um, whatever happened to the kids that disappeared? Everyone in the village went out and searched high and low. They never found anyone. Now, wait. Now that I think of it, they did find one little boy. That was all. Oh. Wait, does this mean... Yuki, what's wrong? What, uh, you're looking quite pale there, dearie. Are you okay? She really is pale. She must have been, she hasn't been looking great since she heard what that lady said, but why? Huh, what was that noise? Hey, Takuma, is it okay to stop hiding now? Well, Agumon. What is that thing? A ghost? A monster? A little cute little toy? No, it's just a stuffed animal, see? But I saw a moving talk all by itself. I got a computer inside. Like one of those stuffed animals that can walk and talk. Right, Miyuki? What? I mean, yes, that's right. It's all because of a computer. But Takuma, what's a computer? See, look, it repeats back what you say. Amazing technology, isn't it? I see. Technology's getting pretty advanced these days, I suppose. Huh, I have no idea what you two are talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we should get going. We know the way from here. So, are you sure? Okay, then. You be careful now. Whew, that was harder than I thought, but she bought it. Yeah, she was pretty shocked. But what? By... But, blah, blah. but by what exactly? Hmm. By what? Come on, I told you to stay hidden, Agumon. <laughs> Sorry, but you were taking your time. So I started to get curious. I guess Agumon couldn't help it. He's bound to be curious now that he's in our world for the first time. But if anyone else sees your sees you, we're going to be in big trouble. Here, hold my hand and pretend to be a stuffed animal from now on. So all I have to do is hold your hand? Not quite sure I get it, but if you say so. Oh, geez, please let this work. So where are we going now? School, I guess. We might be able to find some answers there. 
What about you, Miyuki? Are you okay with that? Yes. There's something I want to check on, check on at that school. All right, then let's get going. Yeah. Something about that old lady woman, that old woman said bothers me, and then Miyuki's reaction. The mask's disappearance, huh? Does Miyuki know something about that? Huh, Miyuki, is something wrong? You seem upset. Oh, it's nothing you need to worry about. Is this something you'd rather not talk about? Well, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. I believe everything you say, Miyuki. Yeah, same here. Besides, we just came from another world. It doesn't get much more unbelievable than that. I guess that's true. Here's the thing, Takuma. Everything's felt wrong to me since we returned to this world. Even though I'm sure it's where I came from, I don't recognize anything about this place. What are you saying? Look, this might be a weird question, but what year is it right now? This year is 2020. 2020? So it's true, this really is a different time. A different time? What are you talking about? This must be a different era from the one I lived in. Huh? Could she really be from a different era? Is that even possible? And you sure this is some sort of mistake or misunderstanding? Can't be. When I lived here, the shrine was in some abandoned ruin. And what's a computer? I've never even heard of one before. It's all different. Everything's changed from the scenery down to people's clothes. Nothing is the way I remember it. So tell me, Takuma, what do you think is going on? But that can't be, can it? That would have to mean... Is, is time flowing differently? What do you mean? Is this? It sounds like the flow of time in your world is different than in this one, Agumon. We were in that other world for days, but here it's only been a few hours. It's only an entirely different era now that, than the one I grew up in. What, what am I supposed to do? Miyuki, she doesn't look too good. I think we'd better find somewhere to rest. Good idea. We're not that far from the school, so we can head there. Think you can make it, Miyuki? Mm, stop. She's crying. It must be quite a shock to return this world only to find it's not really your own. Someone talking. Ooh, we finally made it. It's funny, after all that time in the other world, now this school looks wrong to me. This place. This looks like where I went to school, only a lot nicer somehow. Probably another result of how much time it's been since Miyuki lived here. Even having made it back, I still felt like I have no idea what's going on. So what are we going to do now, Takuma? What do you mean? We came here to rest, didn't we? Yes, but there's still a lot we don't know. I was thinking we should look into things. You mean you don't... you want to search the school? I don't know about a search, but we could find a teacher and ask what's going on. In that case, we should probably have Agumon hide somewhere again. What? Again? Hide. Well, the first thing we'll need to do is to hide Agumon somewhere. I still don't see why I have to hide. We've been over this before. In this world, creatures like you and Fakumon just don't exist. So if anyone sees you, it could cause a panic. Yeah, Takuma's right. Well, I don't want to hide anymore. I want to stay with you, Takuma. Why can't I just pretend to be a stuffed animal again? That might have worked before, but I doubt we'll be able to fool any of the students. Could you please just stay out of sight? I'll come back as soon as we learn something. Oh, right. But you better come right back. Okay, Agumon, you hide in the bushes on the more shaded side of the building. Remember, that stuffed animal trick probably won't fool the students like before. So you'll need to be careful and stay out of sight, okay? <laughs> it's kind of like hide and seek. Hide and seek, huh? Well, I can do that. I'll hide so good no one will ever find me. Haha, <laughs> you better. All right, now let's head inside so what we can see what we can learn. Try to find a teacher. Bro! I don't even know what is even going on. Oh. Corridor, cafeteria, classroom. Free battle. What? Edamon. Why are we free battling? That seems odd. All right. All right. I am going to call it here. My throat is actually getting worse from talking so much. Also being awake all day doesn't help. Um, I don't even know what to expect. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what's coming up next. How could the people even get back? They would have to find someone in this world who could get back or maybe has something to do with the girl uh, Yuki singing again. I'm not too sure. It's very odd. Maybe it will cut back to the other kids and them trying to do something to get uh, everyone back. Back to the digital world or whatever. Uh, so, thank you 
for joining in. I'm sorry I didn't capture the Piedmon battle, but again, it was actually very boring. The, the peak of that was Gurumon Digivolving, and he also proceeded to miss very much so terribly. Probably I don't even think hit him once. So it nothing really happened in that fight. Again, though, I am sorry. Um, we'll, we'll continue this and we'll see if anything interesting happens or there's just a lot more talking. I do want to thank everyone for joining in and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.